yell random letters. It was going to be a word. It had a seven in it. Hey, that totally reminds me of how much fun we all had at my slumber party last weekend. Well, the slumber party I'm throwing tonight is gonna put your little Snorfest to shame. Although, it was clever giving your party a catchy name like Snorfest. <laughs> Adam, I'm having the cheerleaders over for a slumber party tonight, and it's crucial that the house be free of anything that can be perceived as boring or lame. Like, for example, you. <laughs> or, for another example, your face. You're saying all the cheerleaders will be there? Like, for example, Echo? Or, for another example, Echo's face? Of course. So the basement will be off limits to you tonight. The basement? <laughs> you can't have a slumber party in the basement tonight. Why not? Because I'm having a slumber party in the basement tonight. My annual slumber party. First annual. Whatever. I'll just have mine in my room instead. It'll still be way more fun than Kaylin's. And I'm talking fun with a capital seven. <laughs> Wake up. I need you to come to my slumber party. No way. I can't sleep anywhere but my own bed. <laughs> Did I mention that Ivy is also having a slumber party tonight? For the entire cheerleading squad? A whole house full of cheerleaders? Ooh, maybe they'll dress up like nurses. <laughs> You're coming too. And you, and you, not you, Farty Farnsworth, for obvious reasons. <laughs> you live too far away? <laughs> oh, you too, Slab. You're coming to my slumber party tonight. It'll be fun. I'll only come if there's no science. <laughs> but science is all around us. Like gravity. You're okay if there's gravity, right? Nope. <laughs> Fine, whatever. There will be no science at the slumber party. Right now, we have science class. Nope. <laughs> Come on in, girls. Hi. <laughs> the fun starts right now with a Sunday bar. I hope you brought your appetite. Seriously? We have to supply our own appetites? Looks like my slumber party is a hit. More like it's about to take a hit. Should I be worried that that knock came so closely on the heels of your ominous statement? Shake a pom pom, ladies! You don't mind that I invited Mrs. Byrne, do you? We're about to party like it's 19! The year 19 was literally one nonstop party. I think those cheerleaders are in danger. I should go check it out. Derby, that's laughter. I think those cheerleaders are laughing. I should go check it out. The girls' party is off limits. We'll be staying down here in the rec room. Once I make sure it's completely free of science. Molecules out, shoot! <laughs> what is that? Ah! <laughs> this is just some spare bits of science I had lying around. 
I covered it up so Slab wouldn't notice it. And I appreciate it. <laughs> Slab may believe that crazy story, but I don't. You got me. Actually, it's a fuzzy blue ghost. And if you touch it, it will steal your soul and sell it to hobos. I can see now why you would want to protect us from the truth. Are you sure there's no gravity in here? Shouldn't we be floating up on the ceiling or something? We are. We are completely upside down. It's hard to tell because the furniture is also floating upside down. See? You're right. We are upside down. Ooh, I can feel the blood rushing to my head. Uh, quick, someone grab me. I think I'm about to fall up. Wow, Ivy. I've never been at a party with professional manicurists before. Just a party with amateur manicurists. Well, these ladies will help. I bet they could even make Kaylin look great. I'm sorry, though. They don't tweeze unibrows. <laughs> all right. Who wants to show off their nails first? My nails are almost finished. <laughs> the key to strong nails is to keep the slag nice and hot. <laughs> You got molten slag all over my sleeping bag. You got sleeping bag all over my molten slag. <laughs> it's ruined. Yeah, and the party's ruined. She means her sleeping bag. I think there are some extra ones in the basement. Okay, I'll go get one. <laughs> Echo, you shouldn't be down here. Sorry, I just came to find a spare sleeping bag, or ooh, this blanket will do nicely. No! <laughs> what? Why can't I have it? If you remove that blanket, you'll let all the science go free, and gravity will immediately take hold, sending us crashing up to the floor above. Well, now that you have your perfectly reasonable answer, good night. What do you think you're doing? I'm cranking the heat upstairs. That way, Echo will be so warm, she won't need a blanket. An increase in temperature sounds suspiciously like science. <laughs> you just turned the heat off completely. That's right. I turned off science. Deal with it. <laughs> it's not fair. A room full of cheerleaders, no way to get inside without them knowing I'm there. Have you considered a disguise that would let you blend right in and move freely among them? Tell me more. To infiltrate a girl's slumber party, we just need to dress the part. Are you sure this was a good idea? Of course. There is no other possible way to blend into a bedroom full of girls. What's that, Mrs. Byrne? This party is great. You have all these extra pillows and not one extra blanket? Wait, where are you going? To get that blanket. Of course, the only way to get it is to sneak into Adam's party. I'm not surprised people are leaving to go to other parties. This one is lame. No, it's not. It's super fun. A pillow fight? Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Even your pillows are trying to leave this party. Hey, get back here and fight like a pillow. Are we having a pillow fight? Great!
happened to you two? Pillow fight with the girls. So hot. It was painful, but there is no better way to sneak into a slumber party. Sorry I'm late for the boy party. I was just out catching frogs and spinning off bridges. You know, typical boy stuff. Have we met? I don't recognize you from class. My name is Guy. Guy boy son. Welcome, Guy. Make yourself at home. Listen, Guy. Wouldn't you rather be at a party filled with cheerleaders? Of course. For I am a typical boy. I don't suppose you'd know how we could sneak into a party like that unnoticed. Certainly not by dressing up as a member of the opposite gender. <laughs> Stuck animals. I can't believe we both had this great idea at the same time. I know. It just popped into my head when Guy Boyson was talking about whatever it was he was talking about. This party is such a snorefest. Oh, you wish it were a snorefest. It's not even a yawn con. <laughs> Fine, go if you want, but you're gonna miss kissing practice. Everyone grab a stuffed animal. Only two left. Which one should I choose? They both look so kissable. Hi, my name is Kissy Bear Smoochie Pants, and I love to kiss. Oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Bonjour, I am Petit Bisou, the French kissing bear. Ooh la la. That sounds good, too. You don't need that big, smelly ball of Eurofluff. You want a cute little bear, like me. Smoochy pants better shut his fuzzy trap unless he wants this stuffing knocked out of him. What's with all the fucking paw slapping? Go back to sleep, Mrs. Byrne. It's just two giant talking stuffed bears fighting over who gets to practice kissing with me. You started it. Kissing, huh? I'll show you how it's done. Uh oh. Good. Uh, 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 move. <laughs> Let's do some boy things. Like flick towels at each other. Oh no, we do not have any towels. I know, I can take that blanket upstairs and cut it into towel sized pieces using my sewing scissors. I mean, my woodsman's ax. Uh, guy, don't touch that blanket. Why not, dude? Because it's covering my prized collection of... Don't say blankets. Don't say blankets. Blankets. <laughs> Idiot. Perfect. <laughs> Is that me? Of course not, Guy. We only just met. Although, strangely, you do look a bit like... Uh-oh. Did you make this? No. Of course not. It's in your house. That's because I... We made it. Why would Ivy have all these pictures of me? It's creepy. Really? You're not even the least bit flattered? Fair enough. The thing is, Ivy's obsessed with you. She is? Big time. She wants to be you. But I'm already me. Which is exactly why she's planning to get rid of you permanently. What? 
That seems a little hard to believe. Don't say I'll prove it. Don't say I'll prove it. I'll prove it. <laughs> Seriously, dude. You and I need to have a talk later. <laughs> Adam, but I still don't believe Ivy's trying to get rid of me. Fine. Then go back to her party, passing through the kitchen and not getting distracted by anything. Oh, look, what's that? <gasps> no way! Zombie to go fight three, the final coochie coochie coo? Echo, look out! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that came down faster than I expected an unexpected trap to come down. Adam, I think Ivy set this trap. Because according to this convenient ID holder on the side, this purse belongs to Ivy. No, because these bricks came from Ivy's favorite purse store that was demolished last week. I recognize these bricks anywhere. Um, either way, you're convinced it was Ivy, right? Yes. Only a crazed stalker would know about my secret obsession with this movie. Or a close friend who's a good listener. Nope. Crazed stalker. Echo? Oh, no! She's coming! I've got to get out of here. Did Echo just leave? And what are you doing with my commemorative purse store bricks? <laughs> if Kaylin finds out someone left my party, I'll never live it down. I'm sure no one will notice Echo's not there. You're right. Because Echo will be there. <laughs> Look, everyone. It's Echo. Hey, Echo. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Give it up, Derby. We'll never figure out a way to sneak into the girls' slumber party. Don't be so sure. Check it out. This trunk is full of girls' wigs and cheerleader uniforms. We can take all this stuff out, then I can hide in the trunk and you can pose as a trunk delivery man. Nope, we're done. It's working. Everyone thinks this is the best slumber party ever. Nothing can go wrong now. You know, in my experience, you shouldn't say things like that because... I'm back. Well, you get the point. I'm not gonna live in fear just because you have an unhealthy obsession with me. You might not be happy with who you are, but that doesn't mean you get to be me. The only person who gets to be me is me. Isn't that right, Echo? That's right. Echo. What's going on here? How should I know? Maybe you should ask Echo. Or you could also ask Echo. Echo, I can explain. I see what's going on here. You do? It wasn't Ivy that took all those pictures and built that shrine. It was you. You know? It all makes sense now. All those secret looks, the way you study my every move. That time you offered to do my laundry and didn't return it? That was today. It's ready now. You're obsessed with me. Ivy doesn't want to be me. You want to be me. What? You're even dressed up like me. Oh, so that's why you did that. Yes. I want to be you, not be with you. So you set that trap in the kitchen? Yes. You'd better run before I try it again and not ask any more questions. <gasps> you should get rid of that shrine. It's creepy to be that obsessed with someone. <laughs> Isn't that right, beautiful? <laughs> Hey, Ivy. Kaylin. I bet you can't wait to gloat about how your party was better than mine. Well, 
I, for one, had a great time at your party. Even if I did think you were trying to eliminate me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Like I would ever hurt you. Of course, if I wanted to, it would be so easy. <laughs> The key is to make it look like an accident. <laughs> I admit, it wasn't a complete train wreck, but I think we can all agree my slumber party was better. Right, Echo? Actually, I wouldn't know. I wasn't at your slumber party. What about you, Ivy? Be honest, mine was better. I wasn't there either. Well, everyone else was there, right? No. no. <laughs> If none of you were there, then who was at my party? What do you say, ladies? Are you all having a good time? Yeah! yeah.